Japan's yen is weakening again. In fact, it's so weak that it's on the verge of falling close to the lowest level in 33 years. What does that mean for South Korea and its economy? For more, we're joined by Professor Kim Seo-won this morning. Great to have you with us. Thank you for having me today. Professor Kim, first off, what's the reason behind such a weak yen right now? Well, the main reason of low yen is uh, Japan's zero interest rate policy. Mm -hmm. uh, Japan's central bank or Bank of Japan maintains its key interest rate at 0% from 2001 until today. It means that uh, Japan's key interest rate is set to 0% over the last 20 years, while uh, Bank of Korea's key interest rate is 3.5%, European Central Bank's key interest rate is 4.5%, and U.S. Fed's uh, key interest rate is 5.5%. So relatively speaking, we can easily see that Japan's uh, key interest rate is lower than any other major economies. So this lower interest rate makes Japan's yen weaker than other currencies today. Right. Significantly lower to uh, those of other countries. Now, this must be a good news for people here in South Korea, though, who may be interested in traveling to Japan. I, I have a, a list of people who are visiting Japan, you know, this month, and just by the end of the year. That is good news for us for now, right? Of course, uh, thanks to weaker yen and stronger Korean won, uh, Korean people can buy more. Uh, Japanese goods and services with the same amount of Korean won. Mm -hmm. Therefore, uh, Korean people's the most popular destination today is Japan. Uh, Korean people covers about more than 30% of foreign visitors to Japan this year. And Korean people shop Japanese products more than before because of uh, weaker yen. Right. I've, I've stocked up some on yen a, a, a couple months ago and still it's falling. And some okay. experts say yen's weakness may be a rather red flag for certain businesses and industries, namely uh, Korean expert firms. Now, how is that the case? Do you, uh, do, could you provide some examples of those? Uh, weaker yen is not 100 percent good news to Korean people. Uh, because Korea's major industries like automobile machineries and petrochemical are competing with uh, Japan's industries. So the depreciation of yen poses a challenge to Korean industries. Mm. When both uh, nations offer similar products on global market, a weaker yen can give Japanese products a pricing edge. Uh, according to Korean uh, Economic Research Institute, a 1% depreciation of the yen against the dollar result in a 0.2% uh, drop in Korean export. So this casts a shadow over Korean government's hopes for economic rebound in the, in the second half of this year. Definitely. When speaking of the depreciation, uh, depreciation. Now, what would it actually mean for the yen then to fall to its lowest value in 33 years? That's over three decades. What would that mean? Right. That means that Japan's manufacturers can be benefited uh, from price competitiveness in global market. Mm -hmm. And it could be an important, of course, momentum to drive out uh, Japanese economy from 20 years uh, long recession. However, it also provides uh, great results to Japanese economy. Uh, due to the weaker yen, the prices of imported goods and services are quickly increasing in Japan. Mm -hmm. uh, particularly higher crude oil price becomes a major factor to increase Japan's inflation today. Uh, Japan's inflation actually in October exceed 3% uh, on year, which is the highest level in 20 years. So there are more and more uh, Japanese to suffer from higher inflation uh, thanks to weaker yen. Professor Kim, then how long do you think the weakening trend will actually last? I mean, what if the yen continues to weaken even into the new year? Then what happens? Uh, that is a tough question, but when Bank of Japan's new chairman, Mr. Ueda, is appointed in, in April this year. Uh, global market expected that he would raise Japan's key interest rate very soon. But against market's expectation, Mr. Ueda uh, made it clear that he will continue to pursue 
zero interest rate policy until Japanese economy recovers from the recession. However, on the other side, uh, Bank of Japan expands the tolerance bands of the government bond interest rate, which has an impact of raising the key interest rate slowly. So it is highly expected that Bank of Japan would raise its key interest rate in the, in the first half of next year, then uh, Japan's yen will get stronger. I see. All right, Professor Kim Seo-wan, thank you so much for your insights. As always, you have a great day. You too. Thanks.